I will just say that this is the first training truly that I've ever been in where it felt like it all just came together and just fit mm -hmm. um, and really helped me see truly just the endless possibilities of the clients I work with and in the relationship of these couples that I've never really found um, anything felt as effective. So it's been really fun to be a part of that. I really appreciate the integration of the um, clinical material and the experiential side of it and the practice side of it so that it's not just all head work or not just all experiential, but it's the integration that counts. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I agree. I really enjoy how uh, the Imago work in my personal life integrates so well with the Imago mm -hmm. work in the professional. Mm -hmm. and, and that it's, it's kind of seamless and so coming into the training and how it fits with what's going on in life and then fits with what's going on in, in the therapy sessions, so it's seamless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think to build on that for me has been the same thing. Um, personally, the effect, you know, the, the personal growth in me as a person but then the personal growth in the individuals in, you know, the couple and then the relationship between the couples, right, and the growth that happens in that, um, and not that it's standalone, that it incorporates so many other parts of clinical training, right, as well as other things that it all seems to fit, it all makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. The magnitude of it helps it make so much more sense. It's really fun to also give <coughs> these couples the tools of how they can incorporate this into their, their true everyday life on how to have these sure. same conversations that they've had, you know, thousands of times and felt very frustrated. And it's, it's remarkable to see them learning new ways of hearing each other and, and really mm -hmm. having a better understanding of who they are and who their partner is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's just really cool. Mm -hmm. Many of my couples will say, that's the first time we've really talk to years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the connection is there the way the Imago process does that. Really facilitates that really well. I like it. And within my own relationship, you know, relationships, I should say, but um, specifically with my husband, finding myself, you know, in, in similar situations of the same conversation we've had a million times and instead of feeling frustrated saying things like, is there more? Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of my favorite times is that initial session mm -hmm. and when they kind of tell you what's going on and you reflect back and whenever I use that maximizer or minimizer and I describe it and we've talked about it so often like do you have a video camera in our bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> but what I really love is they start feeling like they make sense mm -hmm. and that they're not yeah. you know the crazy abnormal couple that's having mm -hmm. problems but they're normal. Yeah. And with that, there's a path out of what they're struggling with. Yeah, so true. Yeah. And, and some clinicians will say, oh yeah, I, I know the Mago process, the dialogue. Uh, I got it. You know, I understand that mm -hmm. when I tell them about the training. But it's so much deeper than that. Like mm -hmm. the training really mm -hmm. like opened my eyes to so much deeper um, understanding of why we do the dialogue and, and the purpose and the research behind it. Well, and also just how truly hard it is to actually uh, put aside your own agenda and really listen to your, the other for a period of time and how hard it is to be a sender and actually communicate your thoughts and feelings without being judgmental or critical or speaking about the other but speaking from within yourself and your heart. Yeah, I think experientially as a therapist being able to mirror clients, you know, to really join with them, you know, in that empathetic moment mm -hmm. um, is really fulfilling. Mm -hmm. and it almost transcends the moment to just connect with them and be in their world, in their place, which reminds me, right, of what it's, it needs to be like for each of them and for me and my personal relationships. Mm -hmm. Well, it, coming to this training, I look forward to it, right? We were talking about how mm -hmm. it's one of the only trainings that we look forward to going. Um, and I'll tell other people, yeah, I have training this weekend. And they're like, oh. I'm like, no, no, it's really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to go. Yeah, so. Sorry, you don't get to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, so yeah. Um, I really learned so much here. Mm -hmm. Growth, even the personal growth to during the training process mm -hmm. has been mm -hmm. um, wonderful and very Yeah, and I, additionally, I think nice. just being in the group, right, the, um, the respect and comfort that each of you bring, you know, to this experience is, is heartwarming and validating and mm -hmm. joining and, and that's been, that's nice. It's nice to feel like you have a, a place to belong, especially for those of us in private practice. It's, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, it's like that club. Yeah. I belong to a club. <laughs> yeah. You know, and we've been in those moments together. Mm -hmm. We share that. I was giggling to myself on the way home last last night, just thinking about the whole process of sharing our videos, you know, and <laughs> thinking like this is truly the first time I can ever imagine being really excited for feedback, you know, yeah. like not being nervous about how I looked on video or, like, you know, what I sounded like or what I said, but really truly um, being able to accept feedback in such a genuine, um, you know, not feeling defensive. It's been a real growing experience in that yeah. that one example, even yeah. with the videos. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And Tony does a really great job That's what of I was helping say. us <laughs> to, to, to find that path. I think the credit has that. to go to, yes, to all Tony and Becky for providing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So yeah. for it really to feel like this growth experience is truly a gift. Yeah. It's yeah. truly a gift. Yeah. yeah. And I must admit, when I saw that um, we were going to be reviewing videotapes I was really excited about that because I know it's really hard <laughs> yeah you know yeah. but it's also um, in my um, program my graduate program we did that so it wasn't all new to me um, still anxiety provoking yeah. but it was very helpful just to see like okay okay what would you guys say like help me out here right you know like here it is you can see it help me out yeah. so you know mm -hmm. That was very, um, very effective for me, um, even though it was hard, but yeah. it was good to get that feedback. Yeah. And I appreciate that it doesn't feel like, um, you know, Tony or Becky are this distant, cold authority figure that you, you know, that's unapproachable mm -hmm. or there's a sense of, of openness and welcomeness. And I'm also thinking it's worth mentioning how early on when, when first discovering Imago, how couples therapy seems like that impossible. No, <laughs> yes. not going there. And so many of us yeah. had that story. No, no. no couples, no. Yeah. And, and now it's like, ooh, yeah, how fascinating yeah, couples. Fascinating. And, but to have, have a, a, an approach that works so effectively, not just for the therapist, but for the clients. Mm -hmm. is, yes, because I would be so drained. <laughs> like after a couple <laughs> session, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, okay, I I need to know, I need to learn, I need to, you know, get something under my belt, mm -hmm. and the process it makes it so much easier, so much as a therapist, work. yes, yes, so much and less more effective, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What I find really um, important to me is how consistent it is with current brain research mm -hmm. and attachment yeah. theory and yeah. all, all that we're currently right. learning That's what I love. about mm -hmm. um, how we function and how we have relationships. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a pretty exciting piece of it. Like it brings it all together. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And there's so much more in the field to learn, but, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, there's always, there's yeah. always more. There's yeah. always more. <laughs> there's it's, always more. It's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's always more. Yeah. 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 In the field of possibility. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah. wrong way. Yeah. And it fits so much into the training that I have done, like the Gestalt, and just seeing how it can just, tr I've been able to transfer like individual work, it's um, to the couple's work, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. it's such an easy transition for yeah. me. Um, and so now I get the couple's piece of it. I know the individual, you know, but now the couple's piece. Um, and it fits perfectly into the, my foundation. Yeah, I would agree with that. I work with a, a lot of particularly high anxiety with teenagers. Yeah. And it has just fit beautifully working yeah. in the individual, uh, with yeah. individual clients. And I have been really pleased with 
how I feel like I'm doing a, 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 a like I'm right there with the client, you know, and it just fits so naturally and perfectly and but I agree and then just the couples takes it to like the next level. That's right. And not feeling exhausted. Mm -hmm. after a session. Exactly, that's just what I was yes. thinking. You get somebody that contacts you in crisis, mm -hmm. right? And it used to be, uh, oh, what can I do to get them out of this crisis? Yeah. And it's really not about that. It's meeting them in the crisis and just giving them a warm place to be and just saying, like, I get it. Like, it makes sense that you feel that way. Mm -hmm. You know, just joining with them. So I no longer have that anxiety or apprehension about, you know, what I'm going to have to do you know, to fix that, I think that's what makes it easier. And with couples, there was two people having to attend to, so twice as much to do is what it felt like. And yeah. when my supervisor said, you, you really ought to learn a MAGA because I think you're working too hard. And, mm -hmm. and it was like, but this is all I know. And then when I learned it, it was like, oh, I get it. Like, mm -hmm. I get it now. This feels mm -hmm. better. Yeah. Yeah. But even in individual work, especially with teens, because yeah. that's really what they want. Yeah. It's just somebody to normalize and validate, be with them. Yeah. They feel alone. Yes. Yeah. Some of my couples will um, say, well, I want to do some individual therapy and then do couples therapy as well. And with the MAGO, I say, well, we'll do individual work within the couple session. So you're going to be learning and growing mm -hmm. within the couple session and connecting. That's what I love about it is... Well, the, it's a lot of um, internal growth, right? Yeah. And also growth in the relationship. Yeah. In that sense. Well, and that's saying, yeah, our, our wounds occur in relationship. And healing yeah. occurs in the relationship. Mm -hmm. and, and loved how with my clients where there's been some major issues in individual therapy that takes some time to work on. Mm -hmm. And in the couples therapy, it just, the information reintegrates itself as they do the work mm -hmm. and, and they find their balance without having to do, like I've not had to target in on those behaviors. The relationship helped them to find that. Yeah, because the client is the relationship, yeah. which has been really helpful in, in clients understanding why they are there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not about fixing my partner or fixing myself, it's about the healing and the growth together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite things to say is that there's no problem with you or you. Yeah. You know, if, here's the relationship in the middle, and that's what we're focused on. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of pressure off of people mm -hmm. coming into a couple session yeah. that way. So. And me as a therapist, mm -hmm. True. because yeah, my my whole focus is on the relationship mm -hmm. and not about fixing anybody. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of the main things that. I love teaching my couples. Yeah. They don't have a problem. Yeah. They have a growth opportunity. It's one of those aha moments. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to watch them reconnect because when they come in, <clears throat> they're so you know separate. You know, you can tell that they've each kind of retracted and set up camp on each side of yeah. the. You know, um, at least that's the way they experience it. You know, and in that moment, it's like they realize, oh right. We always were connected. Yeah. It's my perception that, you know, you're away from me that scares me so much. It really shows the power of being the sender mm -hmm. and that dialogue of just how much we learn about ourselves and yeah. clients learn about themselves. Yeah. That part to me is, has been just transformative in therapy and even my own understanding of how it all works. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all connected. All connected. And what an honor it is to be able to, you know, work with couples and be a part of creating that safe space. You know, that place yes. that they really look forward to coming to couples counseling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, to really be able to facilitate that safe place where people not only feel heard, but learn so much about themselves before they leave the office. That then they can practice at home. You know, help them yes. do that same exact um, safe space at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's sacred. It is. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good work. Yeah. yeah. Learning how to be vulnerable in that sacred space together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and if we can share that experience, mm -hmm. I mean, that's really, that's, that's human connections. Mm -hmm. Because here I am in my woundedness, yeah. 
you know, and you acknowledging you have yours, but keeping the space safe for me to share that moment with you, you know, and, and what my personal experience is like. Mm -hmm. And you just joining with me without judgment or shame or blame. Mm -hmm. And then I'm motivated to do the same for you. And then I, that reminds me just to say, and that we get those opportunities to practice all of that in our training and get some great modeling on how to do that. And, yeah. and it's like, it's integrated in every level. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is, it's kind of mind blowing how, you know, interwoven and connected all of it, you know, mm -hmm. really is. And yet how individual, <laughs> you know, it can be too. And simple, it's kind it of really simple. It really is, isn't it? It yeah. makes so much sense, I think yeah. that's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's so simple. And yet, there's so, so much complex. behind it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's complex. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's like in the experience, it's very <coughs> simple. But in all of the background, mm -hmm. you know, with all of the with all the other stuff, the attachment stuff, and the brain science, and mm -hmm. all the other stuff that goes into mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it's like it all makes sense. But this is it happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This yes. is the experience of all of that. Yeah. Right. You know, it's the difference between learning something and being like, yeah, that makes sense, uh -huh. right? And then having getting to experience it, mm -hmm. you know, the experiential lesson is mm -hmm. moving. Yeah. yeah. Just the, uh, the first tell me more, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, mm -hmm. There was so much research that went into uh -huh. that of yeah. like why you'd uh -huh. say certain words in a uh -huh. certain language. To help facilitate an opening process for the person mm -hmm. to share. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I did couples before, really. I didn't. I mean, yeah. I mean, I would have thought I was, but right. I didn't. I'm like, what was I doing before this? That, yeah. I was trying to do individual therapy with two people yeah, at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. That's exactly true. With a side order of mediation. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll have two orders of individual counseling yeah. with a side order of mediation. Uh -huh. And another big plate of referee. Yes. 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 And then yeah. sprinkle in the exhaustion. Yes. <laughs> and then wonder why I'm exhausted right. afterwards. Yeah. yeah. I would come home like, I'm so tired. And my husband would be like, did you have couples today? And I'm like, yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> and now yeah. it's... How was your day? Good. I had a few couples and that was good. Yeah. You know? I remember telling a, a therapist, I said, you know, I really could see doing couples all day, every day, and the look on her face. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I said, yeah. yeah, I think I could. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's, that's my ideal is to do that. Mm -hmm. She was like, I just don't get it. And I said, that's because you haven't been to the training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try it. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially with Tony. Yeah, the right. Yeah, yeah. Best yeah. <laughs> yeah. training. Best training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so the support. I mean, I think you know, from both of them, the support and mm -hmm. and accessibility and openness. I just feel, you know, yeah. like they're not that cold, clinical, removed. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes my teen clients are like, "Did you ask the, the teacher?" And, no, I can't ask. The teacher. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 Well. I can ask mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that earlier talk also reminded me. I like, I like talking to other therapists and sharing it with other mm -hmm. therapists. Because mm -hmm. um, I think that there is capacities that in our training we don't always realize. And so even if they don't ever want to become an emotional therapist, respecting that or do couples therapy, but just being able to share that, um, well, one, I feel a lot of joy when I'm sharing it with them, but I, I'd feel joy for the world knowing that this kind of work is growing. Is out there and growing. Yeah. I yeah. agree. It is kind of a feeling like, okay, yeah. if there were more people that could understand, at least, mm -hmm. with the intent to practice, mm -hmm. you know, just a little bit. Yeah. It would help, it would impact the world. Mm -hmm. There is hope because there's capacity we've not realized that's yeah. in there to 